now through extra example number one. On a day in July, this is a hot day, a trucker loaded 40,000 liters of diesel fuel in Indio, California, where the temperature is, was 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, Indio is um, somewhere inland, about two hours from the, from the ocean, so it's quite hot there in July. It's a desert uh, area. So this fuel was delivered to a station in Santa Monica. That's right, right by the ocean. So it's, it's pretty cool there all year long. The temperature was 76 degrees Fahrenheit. How many liters of diesel fuel did he deliver? So you start with 40,000 liters, which is, remember that uh, a, a liter, by the way, is 1,000 liters make one cubic meter. But anyway, the initial volume, V, we have V0, is 40,000 liters. This was at a temperature of 114. Now they were delivered at a temperature of 76. So now the temperature has declined. There were 40,000 liters at a given temperature. So now we are at a different temperature. So the volume changes. In fact, it will there will be a contraction. So what is the change in volume, delta V? It's beta, this coefficient of volume expansion, V0, delta T. We're told that beta is 9.5 times 10 to the minus 4 per degree Celsius. V0 is 40,000 liters. We can keep them in liters, doesn't matter. Because this is just per degree, so this is over degree Celsius. V0 is 40,000 liters. And delta T, that's a change in temperature. And that must be in degrees Celsius. However, we're given the temperatures in Fahrenheit. The change in temperature between Indio and Santa Monica, that's from 114 to 76. So delta T is 76 Fahrenheit minus 114 Fahrenheit. And that's minus 38 degrees Fahrenheit. But I need the change in Celsius degrees. Now we know that every 1.8 Fahrenheit, a change of 1.8 Fahrenheit corresponds to a change of 1 degree Celsius. So to get the change in Celsius, delta T is minus 38. I should divide by 1.8. And that gives me about 21, minus 21 Celsius. So the difference in temperature between India and Santa Monica is 21 degrees Celsius. Now, delta T is negative because the final temperature here is the lower temperature. So that's minus 21 Celsius. The Celsius cancels the Celsius and I get uh, the change in volume in liters. Now, 9.5, we can, we're not interested in exact numbers now. 9.5, let's say, is about 10. 10. And 21 is about 20. 
So 10 times 20, that's 200, times 40,000. So this is 200 times 40,000 times 10 to the minus 4. So it just becomes 200 times 4, which is 800 liters. For the minus sign. The minus sign. So delta V is minus 800 liters. So what happens is the fuel had a volume of 40,000 liters at the high temperature. When it was moved to a lower temperature region, the volume decreased by 800 liters. So what did the truck, trucker deliver? Thirty-nine thousand two hundred liters, only. There's eight hundred liters missing. Nothing, of course. They were not used, or it's not like they were thrown out of the truck. It's just because of this thermal expansion of fluids. So, so the trucker got 40,000 liters in India, but he delivered 39,200 liters in Santa Monica. The interesting question, of course, is who, who pays the difference? I'll leave that to you to figure out. <laughs>